Soy Josep Pucheu, represento la industria agroalimentaria en el Comité Económico y Social Europeo. Nuestro sector es clave para la producción y el consumo sostenible. Es indispensable para convertir a Europa en un continente climáticamente neutro. Estamos jugando un papel proactivo en la transición hacia modelos circulares y eficientes, construyendo sistemas alimentarios cada vez más sostenibles. Apoyamos la futura Ley Europea del Clima y la contribución a los Objetivos de Desarrollo Sostenible de Naciones Unidas. Trabajamos estrechamente con la cadena agroalimentaria para contribuir al objetivo de cero emisiones en 2050. La reducción de la huella de carbono, la eficiencia energética, la utilización de fuentes renovables y la sensibilización de los consumidores son nuestra hoja de ruta. Hi, I'm Matt Black of Coldcut Ninja Tune. It's good to be with you as part of this Climate Pact Day of Action. I think it's clear that we're at a tipping point in the fight against climate change. If we act, a better future is possible, and it starts with each of us taking real-world actions right now, one step at a time, today. Ninja Tune has a fair-sized office. On this day of action, we've decided to kick out our old-school dirty gas-powered boiler central heating and replace it with a clean air source heat pump system. Our members are concerned about climate change and want their union to be active on environmental issues. We strongly believe that making workplaces sustainable saves money and jobs. We would like to highlight that changes in working procedures need to be assessed for their environmental impact. Negotiations on environmental and energy issues help unions anticipate organizational change, pressures and priorities, ensuring compliance with regulations and potentially avoiding financial penalties. Environmental improvements can make workplaces healthier, safer, less stressful and more comfortable places to work by maximizing natural daylight, improving heating and ventilation controls and quality of air. With each step we take, we try to get involved in the fight against climate change. We are committed to reduce our environmental footprint. Our idea is to place bees on some of our factory buildings and plant trees in parking lots that give nectar to the bees. It can be a good message that it's important for everybody to protect the environment. Plant trees, shrubs as food for bees. We give gifts honey to our staff and last but not least, a more livable environment for employees. At the Universitat Politécnica de Valencia, we are firmly committed to being a carbon neutral institution. This is a broad spectrum objective that integrates different actions for the ecological transition of our three campuses, waste reduction, biodiversity, water and energy management, mobility policies, and green public procurement. The circular economy is always present in every measure we are implementing. We are a German NGO and we've developed a CO2 pricing system that could redesign our future. It's a fair and social alternative to CO2 tax, but it's much more. It enables a more responsible use of nature and its resources. It helps to reduce the global wealth and education gap. And it provides the structure to decrease the causes of climate and poverty migration. We call it ECO, Earth Carbon Obligation. The ECO is an ecological basic income and provides everyone with a personal CO2 budget. But it also puts a separate emissions price tag on everything and makes the ecological footprint visible. It's the only system that records the complete CO2 along the value chain, maps the emissions transparently and accounts them fairly. À Autun, nous avons décidé d'avoir une gestion durable de la forêt qui permet à la fois de limiter l'impact en CO2, mais aussi de s'adapter au changement climatique. Nous avons donc euh, adopté un nouvel aménagement forestier jusqu'en 2038, qui nous permet de limiter le relargage du CO2 en limitant les coupes à blanc, euh, quand on rase une forêt qui relargue énormément de CO2, et de favoriser le bois d'œuvre, qui permet là durablement de stocker du CO2, notamment dans la construction. Et puis nous avons fait le choix d'une diversité d'espèces, 
feuillu et résineux, euh, plus adaptable au changement climatique, moins sujette aux épidémies. Les pères fondateurs de l'Union européenne n'ont pas construit l'Union européenne sur la peur. Ils ont parlé d'un discours de paix. Parlons d'un mode de vie moins stressant, d'un air plus pur, d'une alimentation plus saine. Et nous trouverons aussitôt les ressorts de la motivation. J'ai pris l'engagement lors de mes rencontres de sensibiliser un maximum de personnes aux bonnes manières de communiquer vraiment sur le dérèglement climatique. J'ai besoin de vous pour relayer ce message. Nous pouvons tous prendre un engagement. Quel est le vôtre 